Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. All right, Virgo, you're starting off with commitment. Things are getting serious. All right, let's see what's getting serious here. Oops, hold on a sec. All right, things are getting serious. You've got commitment coming in, Virgo. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, masculine or feminine energy. Um, I'm seeing someone here is... There's a bit of competition for you. I'm seeing some competition for you. There's someone here that's very competitive. Okay? Um, once they get to be in their bonnet about something, some kind of an idea... Uh, that's it. They just stay focused on that. That's it. That's all they can see. Um, so I feel like someone here is coming in, um, either to compete for your attention. They want to know how you feel. Um, there's a bit of a struggle here. This person doesn't know how you feel deep inside because I do feel like they view you as keeping a lid on your feelings or your emotions. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. All right, look at that. So three of pentacles here. I feel like this person is trying to learn about you right now. That, that means they could be spying. Um, but I feel like it's more like they're trying to understand and it's really difficult for them. I feel like you keep a lid on things or they, they think that you do. They, they're under the impression that you have put a lid on your emotions. So if you're on social media, you're not sharing how you feel, um, to the public, you're being very private and they're either, you've always been that way and they know that and they want to break through or you've become that way and it's a bit unnerving <laughs> for this person um i also feel like this person is the same way they don't reveal how they feel but queen of swords here the libra gemini aquarius i feel like they want to talk to you and they want to get at the heart of the matter <laughs> they want to take their sword and pry open that lid that you have to try to talk to you or to try to gather some information from you. Um, I feel like this person is like very committed to you, you know, already. And now they want to, you know, I, I mean, I know some of you are like, really, that doesn't make any sense because you're not, if you know who it is, you're not worth the person. There's nothing, they are very committed to you still. They might be with other another person or other people, but they have their eyes on you. You are you they've got you on some type of a pedestal or they they esteem you they hold you in high esteem um let me see okay yeah they want to see oh gosh this person wants they want to take that pentacle right here the one that you're blocking your heart and the one that you have over your head okay and they want to pull each one away and see what's behind that pentacle, which would be your heart and which would be what's on your mind. And even if you're on their mind, or yeah, that, that's kind of like, oh my gosh, they're seeking some truth here in regards to you. Um, also, oh gosh, the nine of cups. You are like it for them. You are the person that they want to be with. Like they feel it. But they don't know what you want. Or they don't know if you still want them. Okay? Or it, I don't know what happened. It feels like something. Like for them to not know, something must happen. Maybe they weren't paying attention before and it became too late. And now you're, not, you're keeping a lid on it. And now they want to know. And they're curious. And they are seeking some truth. They are seeking answers. 
yeah, this person feels extremely like mentally trapped. Um, it's affecting them. They're almost on the verge of a mental breakdown. Um, I don't know if you left them out in the cold, but they definitely feel like abandoned or that they are not um, welcome to cross the threshold of your door <laughs> or the threshold of your, your heart. Uh, this person does feel kind of left out in the cold. I, I, there's a bit of dependence here. Um, so uh, they don't have you to lead them through the, lead them through the dark they feel and they're by themselves and there's this what am I going to do without Virgo thing happening here um hmm even the even the queen of swords can represent mercury energy so it can represent Virgo you might have been someone that was very clear and direct with them in the past and now you're not now you've got a lid on it and it's like none of your business it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could also be uh, any kind of relationship that where there was a commitment or an understanding of commitment between two people. Um, but what I feel like this person wants to know why you're not talking, or why you're not saying anything, or why you're not saying anything to them. What happened? Okay, that's their uh, energy here. Like, what happened? Why am I like it's? And in fact. They're more committed now and want now to get things get serious. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting, Virgo. Very interesting. Here's judgment. Okay. Got Scorpio energy there. Oh, my gosh. I'm... Okay. So, they're just saying this person wants you to open up, tell all so that they can relax. <laughs> they want you to ease their anxieties by communicating with them talking to them but they also want some type of reconciliation with you so you and and they could be um to recover this relationship um to have peace uh to have healing i'm also picking up meditation some strong meditation or prayer same kind of thing um similar sort of but there is this person is praying for reconciliation with you, that you that you guys will be able to communicate again, or that you'll be able to talk, and and that 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 you will talk to them. Um, okay, let me see here. What else is coming forward with this? Oh my goodness! Five of Cups, Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Oh, they're coming in uh, definitely taking charge of their grief a lot of a lot of what's going on with this person stems from grief okay and a double two here somebody's birthday could be on the 22nd uh hold on a second um i'm picking up the letter h Um, there's um, a little, there's, a, yeah, definitely some confusion. <laughs> there's a decision. There's weighing some options happening here. Uh, this person. I, okay, so they're just saying, this person is saying to themselves, if I'm too direct and then I just go forward towards Virgo, I might scare them away. But if I'm indirect um, or I don't talk, um, then th then they're gone. So this person is trying to pick the lesser of two evils here as far as communicating with you or talking to you or trying to get answers as to how you feel. They don't know what is the right approach. They're trying to figure out if should they think of a second or third option or should they should they just come towards you as fast as possible and completely direct This person, I'm hearing that they feel regret for causing you sadness um, or um, a feeling of loss or, or for abandoning you. Not sure what exactly that relates to. It just came out of the blue. Let me see what else here. 
All right, there's you. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, okay. Virgo, I feel like your energy here with this situation is it's all or nothing for you. There's no gray area for you here. It's, it's all or nothing. You want it all or you don't want it at all. Um, your energy is, if I can't have you, then I don't want you. It, that's kind of the thing here. If I can't have happily ever after, complete joy, contentment, the Ten of Cups, then it's comp then there's nothing. I don't want crumbs. I, I don't want to have half joy, half contentment, half happily ever after. It's all or nothing. And so it seems like you have a very healthy boundary um, for yourself. That, in other words, you're not settling because the Nine of Pentacles Virgo is all about building and creating and being independent and solo and financially stable and, and luxuries even to some extent. So um, having the best of it all, Virgo, you're kind of like, well, if you can't give it to me, I'll get it myself. You know, and but it's not an energy of being like um, uh, money hungry or anything like that. It's just about having dignity and self-respect. And so for you, it's kind of like, okay, well, if, if it's not going to be like, I'm not going to go into a, a restaurant knowing what I want and then only uh, getting something uh, like a knockoff job <laughs> you're not it doesn't it seems to me like you have a very healthy boundary as far as respecting yourself so you have I don't know if you have blocks up um but you are definitely not investing or putting your emotions out there they're so um precious that they're like it's kind of like for you to be putting your um spilling your emotions out to it's like throwing pearls at a at a, at a pig <laughs> don't throw your pearls to the swine is an old saying you know um why would you throw your valuables in the mud with the pigs right no these are very protective energy over and your emotions to you and your heart and your feelings are very valuable so you're not sharing them um with just anybody you're you're protecting them because they have high value to you so in other words expressing your emotions and your feelings to someone who is not appreciating it and who doesn't have place high value on the fact that you virgo would even dare open up your heart to someone and share you know that's not a typical virgo trait virgos don't generally wear their hearts on their sleeves so if they open up to someone and share their life with someone the ins and outs and the gory bits and all of everything the good bad and the ugly um and that person on the receiving end does not appreciate that that's a huge stab in the heart to virgo because they can be very selective um, with the people that they choose to have in their lives and if people don't appreciate that um, the effort it takes for a Virgo to actually open up and share those deep feelings to have the door shut on them on their feelings or you know it's kind of like exposing yourself and then being rejected wholehearted wholeheartedly so Virgo for you it's all or nothing if I if I can't have it then I don't want it you know, so I kind of feel like that's your energy going through December, but you've got somebody here. Um, I feel like they want to know how you feel. And Virgo, your your energy is, if, if you want to know how I feel, you're going to have to open up and tell how, uh, what it is that you're feeling. You know what I mean? Because I don't know, Virgo, I kind of get a sense that somebody here wants to get serious with you. And I feel like they will, you know, um, but they're fearful to be rejected. They are. <laughs> so this is this is a difficult one for you, Virgo. This is difficult. This is difficult. 